Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with The Long Dark, where we're trying to do the Faithful Cartographer um, challenge, achievement, uh, where we're trying to map basically the whole world. We're still in Mystery Lake. Uh, we've mapped uh, probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter or 20% of the zone. I did a little bit of organizing of some stuff off camera. I wouldn't say organizing actually, just more like laying things out and... Um, the off-camera stuff I'll be doing is basically like prepping myself, sleeping through the nights if uh, I end on a night, so that um, we can get some daylight and get on with the episode next time. So this episode, I do want to explore more of the zone, but I forgot that I didn't explore the top floor here, which has like an admin office, and sometimes there's some loot in here. And uh, well, I realized there's one more floor, but we'll check what that is in a second. Um, as we search through here, someone <laughs> pointed out that I ran over a rifle over by the camp office. I thought it was a branch, and I think I was like, I don't know what I was doing. I just ran over it. It looked like a branch to me when I reviewed. This will come in handy. But it was a rifle, so we'll probably go back and get that at some point. Um, yeah, I'm going to miss stuff for sure, because I'm kind of trying to go fairly quick. Uh, I do want to get to the zone that has the technical backpack so that we can carry more stuff and be more of, more of a hoarder. And I definitely want to try to get the 100 day achievement in this playthrough. I think there's a stats here somewhere. I can see all my past playthroughs somewhere in here. Oh yeah, here maybe. Yeah, so you can see kind of my global stats since I started playing the game. You can see on Pilgrim, I've lasted 27 days, uh, Voyager 29, Interloper 62. I mostly play Interloper. Um, in this playthrough, 62 days is actually not over yet. I'm still kind of working my way through it. And I'll do an Interloper playthrough from, from the very beginning at some point. Uh, we'll probably do multiple series. It's I, I enjoy the game probably the most on Interloper just because of the challenge. But this playthrough, I wanted to be a little bit more relaxed, and I wanted access to all the, all the stuff, all the rifles and guns and stuff. And I wanted it to be a little bit easier because I wanted, I don't want to die. Like, there's still a chance to die, but I, I don't, I don't want a high chance of dying. You know, through such a long playthrough where you have to map everything. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Maple syrup, we'll take it. Delicious. Delicious stuff. I'm not sure I'd want to drink a whole bottle of maple syrup. That's probably a little bit disgusting. <laughs> uh, we'll take this and we'll drop it downstairs. There's a lot of drawers to search in here. Some books and stuff. The papers I'll leave. Papers are pretty much useless. You can turn them into tinder, and I think you can they help light fires, but uh, we'll skip those. Oh, we have another workbench up here. I didn't realize that. Lots of old computers and stuff. I've seen some people, they hoard everything, and they bring it to one location and set up like a giant, um, like a giant display of everything they hoarded. So maybe I'll do something like that. Transporting material from one zone to the other, though, with limited carrying capacity. Probably not the funnest thing to do. I don't want to spend too long here. I just wanted to see if there was any critical. That'll come in handy. Ragged windbreaker. Let's see what that is like. I think that's not going to be as good as anything we're wearing, so we'll probably garbage that. Uh, let's take these books. Stack of papers. I'm not going to bother with the papers. No point. We search that. You can right-click and move stuff around, which is kind of nice for organizing. Apparently there's a mod that lets you place stuff precisely wherever you want, because the game kind of limits you in terms of what you can put down. Kind of the other way we could probably die in this game is Hope if I we get still eat this. Uh, a timber wolf encounter, <clears throat> where lots of wolves attack you at once. Or... Um, during an aurora, you can get lots of, uh... The wolves, the wolves aren't as scared away by a torch when they're crazed by the aurora. Look. 
Now I'm kind of... Oh, I haven't searched this. There's so many drawers to search in here. Not a whole lot of stuff, though. Even though we're on Voyager. And if I crouch down, I'll probably miss some stuff. But let's get out of here. Searched all that. That doesn't go anywhere. In, uh, survival mode. Anything over here? No. I do want to get outdoors. Let's get outdoors. I'm starting to get a little bit of cabin fever here. We don't want the cabin fever. No, sir. Did I get a garbage can? Yep. Oh, uh, there was this extra floor here. Where does this go? I think it's a dead end. Ah, uh, the light looks great in this game. We're playing at 4K, so things look nice. That doesn't go anywhere. Now, there is a bottom floor I'm not going to go down to yet. Because... Sorry if you get dizzy me turning around here. Because we're going to go down the bottom floor to get to another zone at some point when we change zones. So for now, I'm just kind of storing stuff in this locker for now. Got a bunch of books there. We'll put most of them away. Keep one for fires. Uh, we got some coal. Got some tinder. Anything else we can put away here? Any extra clothing? That that windbreaker can go in there. The combat boots I want to trade out at some point because they're pretty heavy. They're good defense, but they're pretty heavy. So, and let's put some cans away. Actually, I've been putting the cans on the floor here. We don't need to carry around so many of them. Let's stack those up here, nice and orderly. Now, I do want to make some deerskin pants, but we're waiting for the guts to cure. You put them on the floor to cure, and they become cured guts. Same with these deer hides. They're almost there. Uh, I want to show you those pants that I'm going to make at some point here. Deerskin pants. Oh, the weather's kicking up. We need three hide and four guts, and 12.5 hours. It's going to take a while. Why does the weather have to change the minute I want to go outside? <laughs> that spray paint, I want to also drop that. We'll keep one on us, I guess. I probably won't be... Probably won't be using it much. I guess we'll take a peek at the weather here. Doesn't sound nice. It sounds a bit like a blizzard. Yeah, hmm. Well, when the weather's terrible, and you got lots of food, uh, one good thing to do is to read books to pass time. So what do we got here? We got the outdoors. This is for campfires, I think. Field dressing, guns, handguns, shooting guide. Maybe the sh uh, fires are pretty easy to start. Let's read the shooting, shooting guide. Um, now, I learned something interesting about these uh, recently. You don't actually get the experience point until you've done all four hours. I always thought you'd get some points just from like... Yeah, it's a full-on blizzard out there. Sometimes the weather just doesn't agree. And you gotta find something else to do. I'm gonna move uh, up a bit here, so we, I'm gonna put my bedroll down. Because it's gonna get dark here in a second. Let's get our bed ready for the night and do some more reading while we got some light. Do the full two hours there. Okay, it sounds like the storm died down, but it's kind of late at night now. We could go out, but I want you guys to be able to see stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is... Drink some of this. We're going to sleep through the night here. I want to get some daylight for you guys. This syrup is pretty heavy. Let's eat that. Mm -mm -mm. Be nice to have some pancakes to go with that. But we don't have it. Uh, let's eat some other stuff here. I don't think food is going to be much of an issue on this playthrough. At least for probably the first hundred days as long as we keep exploring. Because there's food everywhere. Drink a little bit more water. Now, we're not going to be able to sleep through the whole night here. But we'll we'll try for 10 hours. We're probably going to wake up.
We got woke up, uh, woken up by an aurora. Where the power is going. And these wires are lethal if you walk on top of them. So we'll stay away from that. There are these little messages here on the computers during the aurora. I think I might have showed this last time. Oh, maybe not on this thing, but on the computers. I gotta be careful here, though. Gotta be really careful. If I walk over a wire, we're gonna be dead and it's gonna be all over. So, we won't do that. <laughs> we're gonna rest for a while here. Past time. Waste of calories, but probably necessary. We want that full daylight. Yeah, there's secret messages on the computers you can read when this thing happens. Oh, we're getting thirsty. We're getting thirsty. We're gonna take some damage. Let's drink some more. We're a little bit low on water, actually. Let's sleep as much as we can here. Trying to get full stamina. And get some daylight. Okay, it is, the sun is coming up. It's a little bit chilly in the mornings. How are these things? We got cured deer hide. What did that thing need again? Two or three? Three, I think. Yeah, well, we won't be able to make those pants for a while. Um, and the book has been read. Let's sort by weight here. So we can burn it now that it's been researched completely. But I'm going to drop it. We're going to save it. I don't know why it's smaller than the other ones. It's kind of bizarre. Like, why? It's more like a pamphlet. It's the shooting pamphlet. Okay, temperature. Minus 17. Bloody cold. Mmm. Three hours down. Probably won't, don't want to travel in this. Um, I'm going to go inside and wait one hour just to see if we can get it a little bit warmer outside. When the sun is at the top of the sky here, that's when it's kind of the warmest. How much water do we have? Not a whole lot. We could boil up some water. But I think we'll just continue on here. Let's check that temperature again. Oh, look how crystal clear it is. Minus six. Much better. I did break down some pallets off camera here for some wood. We have... I've got like 20 or 30 reclaimed wood sitting in... Um, uh, let's get some charcoal out of this. No, there's none. Okay, so where are we going? We're gonna go probably up to the forest lookout. And then kind of follow the zone around the outside. Forestry lookout sometimes has some good stuff. We will get a torch ready here. Or a flare. Maybe a flare. We're gonna probably have lots of flares. Because there are wolves around here. So if we hear one, we'll light this thing up. Should scare them away. Now there is a thing I missed. Um, kind of over that way. Um, there's a quiet clearing, I think it's called. We'll, um, we'll skip that for now, but we'll, tr we'll go back to that later. There's some stuff along the rail line here, too, that we, that we could uh, discover. Now, because we're on Voyager difficulty, there are um, there are some secret caches out there. They kind of show up in a random place, though. I'm going to mute my mic, though, for a bit, though, because you guys can probably hear that lawnmower in the background. And it's probably not the nicest. It's a little bit immersion-breaking. Oh, it stopped. Never mind. Okay, so up ahead, there's this kind of train car thing. I'm surprised I haven't seen a wolf yet. But look at that view. Screenshot time. This game is so nice looking. And the uh, quiet clearing, I think, is through there. I guess I could get it now, but I think I'm going to skip it. So we're going to... We're going to check inside this thing. I don't think I have yet. Let's 
Sometimes there's the animals um clear out after a blizzard. So maybe that's what's going on here. <clears throat> maybe uh take a bit of time before they come back. What do we got here? Spare metal, scrap metal. We don't really need that. Practical gunsmithing. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Interesting. See all the gunsmithing stuff is new as well to me. Another hunting knife. I think we'll skip the book. And let's map here. Even though it's a little bit chilly. We charcoal. We're kind of getting low on charcoal. We're going to have to make a fire at some point. Just to make some charcoal. Okay, tra train loading area. This is, um, I think, on the list of things. Let's, let's check. Under here, we've got surveyed locations. We'll do force reveal and check mystery lake. Mystery Lake. Uh, we just did train loading area. Yeah, that was one of them. So we are going to head um, up this logging road. Because there's some cabins up here that are part of the uh, thing, I think. We'll just walk. We could run. I don't have any coffee yet, so I don't want to run too much because it'll burn our, our stamina. I guess we could do a bit. Let's do a bit of jogging here. Oh, there's a wolf right there. Wolf right there, okay. Oh, I get to show you guys how to deal with wolves. You can do this with a torch as well. Nice thing about flares is that they last, um... They work in high winds. Okay, so I'm gonna hit number two on the keyboard. Switches over to the... A weapon. Like a rock, and if you aim the rock at the wolf, he'll run away when he makes that squealing sound. So there he goes, he's chicken. He's chicken. And he's gone for now. Now they can kind of circle back and come back and ruin your day again. For sure. So I'll keep this flare going for now. This is the place up ahead I want to go. The um, like the logging cabins thing. My computer does struggle a little bit with these uh, ultra 4K settings, but it looks so damn good. I'm just going to keep them on. Now there's a place you can start fires here. There's a burn barrel. Here we are at the logging camp. I'm gonna start a fire. Start a fire uh, right here. You can start a fire. Another another axe. Wow. We'll take it. Another cooking pot. We'll also take that. Just like we can. I think I'll walk around with two pots from now on. Now you can start a fire with a flare, a lit flare. So we'll do that. 80% chance of do that. Yeah, so if you if you start out on any difficulty and you can't find matches but you find a flare, light that flare and then you can light the fire with the flare. And then once you get a fire, you can make a bunch of torches and try to chain your torches by lighting one torch one after another. Let's get rid of that noisy thing. Okay, let's add some fuel here. We're gonna add this, this log, cedar log. Maybe some sticks. We'll keep our coal for emergencies. Actually, let's just pop one on. Okay, let's cook up some water. What I usually do is just drop the pot and then place it with right clicking. And we'll do we'll do a full we'll do a liter of water. Thirty minutes. Same thing here. Cook that up. Can we take the charcoal if this is going? No, we'll take the charcoal at the end. And I'll do some mapping while we're standing near a nice hot stove. Oops, let's do some mapping here. Last piece of charcoal. There we go. I think logging camp is on the list as well of places we need to map. Okay, 10 minutes. We'll, we'll do... Um, Let's 
going to say we could pass time. This is past time here. 30 minutes until, until boiled. That'll go pretty quick. So let's just, um, we'll search this one. There's three, there's three things here. Buildings. Trailers. Well, we got the daylight. Let's take a look around here. We could even have brought a torch with us to make it even easier to see. Got some sardines. Sometimes they hide stuff. Lower down. Take this wood. Now we can chop this up. 27 minutes for some cloth. Six cloth. Okay. I'm actually going to do it. What's up? Oh, that means our water probably boiled over. <laughs> we'll come back in a second. It might be okay. They're in the pots. These pots uh, don't dry out as fast. Okay, 40 minutes. We'll take that and drink it. And this other one we'll just take. And we'll do another set of water. I don't like wasting my fire. I like making as much water as I can out of one fire. And then if you have excess water, just leave it behind, because chances are you'll be back. And we'll be able to have a nice little cache of water for you. And if you're smart, you can add it to your journal. There's like a little journal where you can make notes and stuff. Here, general notes. Water. Yeah, this isn't true, but building... I don't even know what this is called. Logging camp? Logging... I'm trying to type with one hand here. Logging camp. There we go. Save that note for you. In case you forget all the places you stashed up. Okay, we've got an energy bar. Those are good. Those are 500 calories and they're really lightweight. Lamp fuel. I can use this. There's another pillow. I'm not going to bother breaking it down. We will take this wood though. What do we got here? Work pants. Oh, these are actually pretty good. Mm hmm. You can double click to wear clothing that's empty and double click to rewear it. Uh, 32%. We're going to want to repair those. These are nice pants though. The only better ones I think are the. There's some snow pants and there's some. Uh, oh, work boots. Hello. Hello. Now let's see how they compare. They need a lot of work. I'm not even sure they're going to be better once repaired. They're certainly not as good for defense. Hmm. Not very warm. Yeah, and these aren't really warm either, but uh, they're better than these at the moment. We can break those down at some point. Probably miss some stuff in here under some beds. Let's go take another look. That pillow would be good. Some good cloth. Um, should we get it? We got lots of cloth. You can also break down curtains and stuff. Okay, we'll go check on our water. Maybe drop some water. Drop some stuff here. What do we got? Um, oh, it's still melting. Okay. Don't need all this cloth on us. We are overweight again. We'll drop a liter of water here. Should we do some repairs? One hour on the stove. I do want to get my gear into kind of tip-top shape. We'll do this at night, probably. I need to find some nicer gloves. These are not good. <laughs> They're not warm. Okay, 26 minute till boiled. Let's go check one of these other ones. For some loots. Some juicy loots. Okay, what do we got? Newsprint, we'll leave that. Old bed roll and pillow, that's a lot of cloth sitting right there. For a rock or antiseptic, we'll take it. Another storm lantern. Oh, Something's gotta go. We've got so much stuff. Sport vest. Well, those are better gloves than what we're wearing. And we got some soda in there. Any other hidden bits? More fuel. What have we here? 
Okay, that sweater is pretty nice. That might be better than one of these shirts when repaired. But we gotta do a bunch of repairs. I think we're gonna spend the night here, actually. Because I want to do a bunch of repairs. How's this? We got good daylight. I do want to explore more, but I also want to hoard a bit. <laughs> um... We could just consolidate this all in one place. And, uh, leave a little bit of a cache here. But I want to... Maybe we'll make it up to Forest Lookout. And do some repairs up there and stay the night up there. Because we got a lot of extra crap that we don't need to bring. Sweatshirt. I, think I don't I can use think this. that's going to be very good. But it's better than nothing. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is good, I think. Plaid shirt. Oh, we're already wearing one of those. Some tea. Still haven't found any coffee. Coffee would be nice. Coffee is the our life life force. <laughs> okay, anything hidden in here? No. Uh, probably missed some stuff. I really need to drop a bunch of stuff. But I want to break these down. It's going to just take a lot of time. Maybe we'll travel heavy. 41, actually. Can we still run? Kind of. I'm a little bit worried about bad weather rolling in. That's why I don't want to spend the night here, but... Uh this, take this, take this. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. It certainly is. Um, take a torch. It's a crack uh. I want this fire to go out so we can take the charcoal. We'll save that. Okay. Let's take the charcoal. How much do we get? Three? Only three? Really? Okay. I guess we're going to spend the night here. I did want to go up to Forestry Lookout, but I do want to, to find food. repair my clothing. And kind of shed some of this weight. Okay, let's do this. We're going to... Let's drop some of this stuff. Uh, we're going to... Let's repair these pants. This is going to eat up a lot of our daylight, but I think it'll be worth it to get all this stuff in tip-top shape. Do this again. Get some sewing skills as we do it. Uh, now they're new. That's good. Let's uh, eat some food before we starve. Maybe drink these sodas first. Pretty heavy. I'm just going to top up the uh, calorie meter here. Okay, how much is left? Oh, we still got a bit to go. Let's uh, eat some chips or beef jerky. And maybe some heavy soup. Now we could heat the soup up, which is good for traveling, but... Do another one. Lighten the load. Okay, let's get some rid of some of those cans. We don't need to carry around any cans anymore. Since we have two cooking pots. Okay, now the boots. Let's break down those boots. These boots were not made for a walk and harvest. One hour and thirty minutes. Takes a long time. We are going to get some leather out of that, though. We got two cured leather, which lets us repair other stuff. Like these gloves. Once we get all this gear in 
tip top shape. Um, it'll make things a lot easier and we won't have to do it again. We will have to repair as we go because they, they will get um, damaged as we go, but let's change these gloves up. Let's see what the improvement's like. Okay, they're not as windproof. Hmm. They are warmer though. Let's harvest these. 10 minutes isn't too bad. That's good. Work pants are good. Jeans could use some repair. I think we're too... Did we fail? Oh, we just failed. We still got lots of light. Let's try that again. Using up this daylight as uh, carefully as we can. These are good. Those are good. Uh, let's scrap this. Harvest this for some cloth. And I wanted to repair this wool sweater and do some comparisons on it. One hour. Jeez, we're going to probably lose our daylight here. This is the kind of stuff I'd normally do off camera, but we'll leave it in. Okay, I think it's moving up late. I guess we're going to just skip that. We'll drink and eat, go to sleep, get some daylight. Hopefully the storm. there's no storm tomorrow. Uh, eat some more stuff. We're kind of like a, a nomad here. We're eating what we find as we go. we drink here we'll be good to sleep I'll see if I can do any more re repairs here I think we're out of daylight but let's just try no it's, it's too dark there is some stuff we can do in the dark though like uh, preparing stuff we can make bandages and we can prepare stuff but we're just gonna we can also sharpen stuff at night I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sleep. I'll try for like ten hours here. And hopefully a storm doesn't roll in. Okay, we're fully rested. It's not quite morning. And there's a storm. Kind of Murphy's law. <laughs> hopefully it it goes away as we sleep here pass some time. I don't think it's light enough to do <clears throat> repairs yet, so we'll pass some time. Let's try to repair this now. Action repair. Yep, we can do it. You want to manage your time as best as possible. So like if you're boiling water on the stove, maybe there's other stuff you can be doing. Passing time is generally not the best thing to do. Okay, let's compare these here. Okay, that's a big upgrade in pretty much every way. So we'll wear that. And what about this thing? How does it compare? This is better. Probably, maybe. I think this is not going to be very good. Let's break that down. This hoodie might actually be better if we repair it, so let's repair it and see. Okay, the blizzard is subsiding. Okay, how does this compare? Uh, this is better, but the moisture is not as good. It's warmer, but moisture protection is pretty bad. It does seem generally better, though. I, I kind of like the plaid shirt more. But we're going to scrap these. I like the look of it. In real life, I wear hoodies. In uh, in the game, I like this thing. Let's harvest that. Sounds a little bit windy out there still. Okay, the clothes are looking a lot better. I think we're good for repairs for now. Let's check the weather. Uh, we got this extra lantern here. It'd be nice to have an extra lantern, but probably don't need it. 
I'm gonna add that to my notes though. Water. Uh, lantern. Probably clean up those notes later so I understand them better. Oh yeah, that's full blizzard. <laughs> Didn't sound like it, but yeah, it's full blizzard. We're gonna have to wait till that goes away. Uh, I guess we could sleep a bit. It's a couple hours. You do not want to travel in a blizzard because the condition loss from being frozen is much worse than the other three uh, meters on the bottom left. What else can we drop here? The fuel. Uh, let's drop the fuel. It is pretty nice to have, but we got lots of antiseptic. This. Spray paint, I don't really need it. What do we else what else do we have that's so damn heavy? The water, I guess. Instead of passing time, let's uh, we'll break down some shelves to make some wood instead. Okay, the storm ended. I don't really need that wood, but we'll leave it here as a cache. In case we need some in the future. And we're still overweight, so maybe I'll drop a bit more, a little bit more. Let's drop it all, I guess. And what else can we do? We can eat some food, lighten the load a bit. What's the heaviest stuff? Uh, none of this is really that heavy. But we gotta eat anyway, so... What the heck am I carrying around that's so damn heavy? Um, an extra hatchet. Ah, uh, we'll leave one behind. The knife is pretty light. Uh, what else do we got here? Now we're underweight. That's, that's good. You can still move if you have over 35 pounds. Oh, it's warm out. Feels like six degrees. <clears throat> All those repairs were uh, were worthwhile. Okay, uh, we want to head up to the forestry lookout, which is kind of... Or should we head back there a bit more? Mm. Forestry lookout's up that way, I think. I think maybe we can get to it from this way. Maybe. I don't know if it's possible. I've never tried to go up this way. I've come down this way. But I don't know if I can get up this way. Maybe break an ankle doing it. Uh, yeah, maybe. It might work. This might work. We're looking for the path that leads up here. If I'm in the right place. Uh, this might not be what I want, actually. <laughs> this night might not be the forestry lookout. It might be up from the uh, train derailment, actually. I'm probably going to regret going up here. Can we get up here? Uh, oh, we can. I've never been up here this way. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Okay. Oh. We can get up here. I've never actually been up this way. I might get stuck on this ledge here. What the heck is up here? Oh, it's like a it's like a peak. It has nothing up here. Okay, that's the forestry look up that way, I think. So we're going to have to shimmy down here. Oh boy, we're going to break an angle if I'm not careful. Sometimes you can kind of go along the edge here. Oh, oh, oh. Billy Goaten. We're Billy Goaten. Yeah, I didn't break an ankle. That's good. Almost. 
There. There's the Canadian flag up there. I think we can maybe get up through here. There's two lookouts. There's one that has a building and there's one that's broken. This will be a nice view. We might find a Polaroid up here as well. Oh, I might be stuck here actually. I might not be able to get up this way. Because, uh... Yeah. Because we're not on the road. We're not on the path. Well, always nice to go the wrong way. You get to see some interesting things. Okay, well, we're just gonna shimmy down here till we get on the actual road. The actual path. Which should be around here somewhere. Uh, I don't wanna have to go all the way down, though. Let's see if we can find the path here. Should be over this lip here. Whoa, that's steep. There it is. Okay, we'll just shimmy down here, get on the path. Whoa, and then properly... <laughs> properly get up. Yeah, so I think you want to go from the derailment up. Okay, there we go. Up we go. The scenic tour of Mystery Lake. Sprint up here. Now it's a little bit foggy, so we can't see all the way. It is actually getting late again. I kind of wanted to have a clear day to show you guys the view from up here, because it's pretty spectacular. Oh, Canada. I think we need a flag there. Looking good. Up we go. Now, I think technically this building is... Maybe? I could be wrong here, but outdoors even though it's indoors. Let's do a, uh, a survey once we get to the top here. Got some stairs to climb. Get some exercise. Even though we just climbed up a mountain, basically. Maybe not a mountain. A large hill. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, too bad it's foggy. Let's survey, though. Get this on our map. There we go. Forestry lookout. Looking good. Good. Uh, let's get inside here. Let's see what we can find. We got some pork and beans, tomato soup. Uh, I probably don't need the book. Oh, there's something on top of there, isn't there? A sewing kit. More books. A sewing primer. That's a good one to have. Another pot. Now we could take this pot. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Um, because there's actually in some places there's a six burner stove, so you can cook a whole bunch of stuff at once. Another knife. Guess we'll take it. Rifle ammo. Some bandages and food. I'll be hungry later. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. We're overweight again. Any hidden bits under here? Okay, what should we do? Should we continue on? There's some stuff in the back of the zone we gotta do. That might be the way to go. During the roar, is getting kinda heavy. you can actually turn the radios on. Which is pretty cool. We got nice weather though, um, so we might just head down here. I am carrying a lot of stuff around. We could probably drop some of that at the camp office. But down we go. It would have been nice to see it with uh, some clear weather, but unfortunately not today. There is another lookout. Maybe we'll get some better, better weather for that one. Let's check our list of places here that we gotta go. There's the Polaroids we can find as well. Okay, we'll reveal all. Mystery Lake. We got nine of twelve. So we need Trapper's Homestead, uh, Cave System, Rail Tunnel. We still have a lot to do here. Deadfall, derailment. Derailment's at the bottom of this thing, so we'll do that. Let's drink some water.
There's the other tower over there. We want to go to eventually. But we're just going to run down this hill. I'm going to get a torch out. In case we encounter wolves. I should probably be doing it through here. There we go. So if we hear a wolf, <clears throat> we can light a torch in a hurry. We are at full health, so if we do get in a wolf fight, we would probably survive. But I'd rather not get in any wolf fights, to be honest. Okay, so if we keep going down here... Check where we are. There's a derailment. We could probably shimmy down here. Let's do that. Make the trip go a little bit faster. There's something dead down there. Probably a guy. Or girl. Wolves do hang out around here, so we gotta be careful. Yeah, there we go. Sprained ankle. That's what you get for walking down a cliff. There's the wolf. I am going to light this torch. In case he gets close. Which he probably will. We'll do a quick search in here. Hopefully we don't get... Oh, let's scare him away before we go in there. We're going to get trapped. So, approach cautiously. They won't attack if you have a torch. And we'll uh, point, a, point a weapon at him. That'll scare him away. If you get cornered though, like if I was in here, I might get cornered and I could get stuck. Uh, we got some bullets, we'll use those eventually. Sometimes it drops the torch if you're searching stuff. It seems food. Seems kinda random. Take that torch. Now if there's multiple wolves, the torch still works. Take a look around this thing. Sometimes there's other stuff around here. I might have to drop some gear. Yeah, we'll drop some gear soon, Mackenzie. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here. Feathers. I'm gonna grab the feathers. Someday we might need them. Lots of flares. Food. And I always use more food. Unfortunate. Guy here didn't make it. Windbreaker. Okay, and we got a survey. I'm gonna survey while I'm. Oh, we're probably we're probably okay. Let's we'll survey here. We could get a wolf running at us here, and our torch might burn out. I've never been so hungry in my life. And it's still going, technically. Do we have another one? We do. Let's try to light it real quick. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna need some first aid. So the has been mapped. And we'll continue on. Here. Smarts a bit. Oh, we still have a broken ankle, so we can't sprint. Let's use a bandage on our left foot here. And since we have them, we'll eat some painkillers. That broken ankle. Okay, where to go next? Um, I think I'll head kind of back down into the zone here. We are kind of sleepy. We're going to lose our daylight pretty soon. Here, we'll get some twigs. Firewood, because this torch is going to go out, and then we're going to be out of torches, so a little bit dangerous. We could just go back to the camp office. You know what? Let's go back to the camp office. It's right here. We'll make some more torches. We'll drop any extra crap that we have on us. I do want to go back in there, though. I also want to go to Trappers. Uh, maybe we go to Trappers next. Might be some good stuff there. Okay, our torch is going to go out. Well, might as well just chuck it. I don't think we'll encounter any wolves between here and there. 
But there was a rifle along the trail behind uh, tr um, camp office, so we are gonna um, we're gonna go down that trail and get the rifle after I drop some stuff here. We're carrying a lot of stuff. What's our load like? We're losing because our condition is low. We can't carry as much. So what should we drop here? I was kind of using my dumping ground as the, um, drop this extra knife, put that up here so I can more easily see it. And what else can we drop? These bullets are kind of heavy. We'll drop some flares. They're pretty heavy. Anything else I can drop? Oh, with this we're not wearing. Let's put some of these clothes away. Okay, clothing. Stuff we're not wearing and put away, like uh, this jacket. Socks. Yeah, we'll keep that in there. Any other stuff we can store away? Probably don't need all these matches, but they're not that heavy. Oh, I have two... Let's grab the other knife. We'll put the knives in the storage. So, tools. That's good. Uh, rifle cleaning kit we'll need eventually. Cured leather. We don't need to carry that around. Put two of those away. That's probably good. Like I said, we're kind of... Are we still overweight? We are. I'm going to go get that rifle, though. Because that's going to be a quite a big uh, difference, having a rifle. We don't have to rely on our... Um... Did we get the charcoal out of here? Uh, yep. Yeah, the distress pistol is just for emergencies. I don't think I surveyed here. Let's see. Camp office. Lake trail. Looks like I kind of did. But there was a rifle along here. It looked like a stick when I ran over it. Here it is. I ran right over this last time. Just what I need. And it's pretty heavy though, four kilograms. But definitely worth uh, grabbing. Yeah, Too heavy. Did I map? I did map Dave's quiet clearing. I'll map right here as well, just in case we missed anything. Yeah, we did. That's kind of right here. Dave's quiet clearing. How yeah, much time do we have left? Not All much time. Think about is food. Kinda wanted to get to crappers uh crappers. <laughs> crappers cabin. Hmm. Trappers cabin. Okay, we gotta eat. We're gonna eat here on the run. Might get food poisoning from this. Pretty low condition. Eat some of the older stuff. Eat the moldy stuff. Mmm. I don't know if you can get food poisoning on Voyager. I think you can. But we've been lucky so far. Okay, we've topped up the food bar. That's good. We do need to sleep. Okay, we'll do a quick sleep, and then we'll run over to Trapper's Cabin, because it's a cool place. And we'll try to end the episode there. Let's see if we can do it in six minutes. <laughs> Not sure why I feel so tired. Because you've been running around, Mackenzie. I've been driving you like a mule. Like a mule. Now these sticks generate, regenerate after blizzards, so it's good to pick them up. 
and put them indoors because you'll they'll regenerate and you'll be able to pick up more. This thing has a back door as well. We'll go in the back door. Now I might not need to make the uh, deer skin pants because there are better pants out there. But um, let's drink. We definitely need to sleep. Pretty exhausted. Um, but let's get fully exhausted and use our daylight to break some stuff down here. Break down all this furniture. One, one hour, 30 minutes. Use that daylight. Okay, now we can't see a bloody thing. That's okay. What about this one? One hour. Let's see if it happens. It works. Yeah, that'll work. Now we can't see anything, so look at the lantern out. I'm too tired to think straight. I think I'm just going to drop the wood on the ground here. That we just harvested. And most of these sticks I'll put away in this cabinet. Um, there's a game called House Flipper I'm going to be playing. At least one episode pretty soon. And it's kind of, this reminds me of this because it's, it's so messy in here. And part of House Flipper is like cleaning up these houses. Can, we can. Stack of papers. Yeah, we gotta clean this place up. We can break down these curtains as well. But let's just get to sleep. We can't run because we're so tired. I have a snooze here. I think I switched these already. Yep. All these cans everywhere. Okay, let's have a snooze. Probably want to drink first. Uh, we'll sleep uh, 10 hours. Nine, 10 hours? Yeah, 10 hours. We still have to search uh, the lake. We didn't go all the way back to the bear den. Okay, what time of day is it? Sun's coming up. We can sleep some more. Sleep three hours. Might get thirsty though. Okay, yeah, we're fully thirsty. But now we uh yeah, we're all we're all good here. Let's eat some food real quick. Eat this old energy bar. Thirteen calories! Just a morsel left. Diet of champions. Ketchup chips. Mm. Energy bars. Not recommended eating. Okay. How's our... We're still overweight. Jeez. The rifle is heavy. That's why I want to get that technical backpack. And the moose. There's a moose thing. Moose hide. Um... Moose satchel we can make. Probably drop something here. Lantern fuel. Uh, we don't need all this cloth. Let's drop some cloth. Cloth. Uh, let's transfer all. And then we'll take a few pieces back for repairs. Okay, that, that wrist that got us underweight. Okay, good. Let's make sure the rifle is loaded. You never know when you'll have an encounter. Holster that. And we'll take out a torch. I don't want to shoot any wildlife just yet. What am I trying to do here? Oh, I don't have any torches. We'll get a flare ready. In case we encounter the wolf. Okay, we're going to Trapper's Cabin. There's multiple ways to get there. I'm going to go through this part of the zone. There's a deer. 
We could hunt him for food, but um, should we? I'm actually gonna shoot him because he'll. What will happen is he'll bleed out, and we might find his corpse later. I think I missed him. Let's see if there's a blood trail. Pretty sure I missed him. Yep. Okay. Forget that. <laughs> Waste of a bullet. Yeah, we don't need him. Which are like minus two. So the way I usually go there is down to this tunnel. There's sometimes wolves along here, so you gotta be careful. Lots of sticks I'd love to pick up, but we're gonna skip them. Yeah, I usually go all the way down. Is that a wolf down there? No. All the way down to the tunnel, which leads to the forlorn muskeg. Actually, let's do a survey here. I can hear wolves down there. Okay, we're on the rail line here. I think we're heading south. Yeah, heading south. So this is kind of like the south... west end, the west corner of the zone. And there's usually a few items down here. And then I follow the back of the zone, the, south, the southmost wall, which is down here, to get to Trapper's Cabin. Now there's some interesting stuff back there. There's a, a pond and a river and a bear, and we'll, we'll see all of that later, but for now... We could try shooting a bear. It's pretty risky. Pretty risky at this point. We are at full health, and we do have a rifle, but... And if he got too close, we could scare him off with a flare gun, but... Now, I kind of need some charcoal here, because we need to survey this. And I have ran out. Is this a backpack I missed? Yep. There's something right beside it. Another hunting knife. We're going to have a collection of hunting knives. And there's some, usually some stuff over here. I almost want to light a fire so we can get some charcoal, but it'll take too long. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Stim is good. We'll leave the pry bar. And... Yeah, we can't survey anymore. Well, we'll be back here later when we go to the Forlorn Musk Egg. We do need water. And are we getting cold? We are getting cold. I do want to get to Trapper's Cabin though, so we'll, we'll survey this area later. Do want to get to Trapper's Cabin. And maybe we'll kill a few bunnies. In order to um, start curing their pelts. So we might want those pelts for uh, some gear. Maybe. Birch Park, gotta get that. Should probably have my flare ready, just in case. That just sent us over the edge, weight-wise. Just kind of funny. Uh, we don't need all these. Let's drop those. Trapper's Cabin is a really good place to set up your home base. gone way over the one hour mark here. Sorry folks. Uh, we'll, we'll get to the trapper's cabin and then we'll we'll wrap it up. Oh, some unfortunate person here. Didn't make it. Will this one feather make us overweight? <laughs> this will. Maybe not. Yeah, I definitely need lots of charcoal because there's some other stuff here we gotta map. 
We're gonna have to backtrack here. Because there's, um... This is a thing we need to map. The wind is kicking up. So we don't want to hang out here too long. Another hatchet. This will come in handy. Books and stuff. Max's last stand. Yeah, we got to come back here with some charcoal in order to uh, survey this. But Trapper's cabin is just over this hill here. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. And there might be some wolves here, so we gotta be careful. Uh, no wolves. A moose can spawn here as well. I might get a sprain on this hill, which is really lame. But. And there's a bear back there. There's a bear cave we gotta visit. Or not visit. Yeah, so a moose can spawn right in this little valley here. I killed one on my interloper run. Sometimes there's a dead deer here. I'm actually gonna leave that wood there because um, we might, well, we'll probably never have to start a fire there. You know what, let's just take it. There's the trapper's homestead. Hopefully there's some, oh, the moose is here. Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll try to get him next episode. He should still be there. He does take two shots. Should we do it now? I could die here. We could get broken ribs. Let's let's just go for it. Let's go for it. Um, I'm really bad with the rifle. Let's just try this. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. We did him in one shot. Okay, that's... Unusual. Um, man. We should cook him up, but we'll have to do that next episode. These things take forever to cook because there's so much meat. Uh, can we light a torch in here? Light a fire? I mean, it's probably too windy. He's gonna freeze. Um, it's minus five. You know what? Let's just try to quarter him. Quarter him. Two hours. Jeez. We might freeze to death. Let's try it. There we go. Quartered. Okay. That turns them into a bunch of giblets. Uh, we got the hide. Lots of gut. This will attract wolves, so we don't want to hang around here very long. And all these bags of meat. How much weight do we have? 44. We'll try to carry... Oh, we can't even move. Can't even move. And we're freezing. Let's go put these guts away. Next episode, we will cook up all that moose. That was a lucky shot. Very lucky. Now, I've only killed... That was my second moose kill ever. The first time I killed him was an interloper not too long ago uh, with a bow. I shot him once and he charged me and I did a headshot and he died. Very lucky first kill. I waited until he was about five feet from my face and shot him in the head. Very scary encounter, to be honest. Um, and, but uh, that's going to be enough food to feed us for a very long time. Here we are. That was an unscheduled event um trapper's cabin we're gonna explore this loot it next episode for now though i want to get this hide down and i want to get all these guts curing on the ground there we go so those are cure we can make this moose hide satchel that would be great this thing takes 10 days to cure so we'll probably leave and come back rifle ammo here lots of stuff in here but we gotta save it for the next episode oh there's some coffee too hope you guys enjoyed that hit that like button if you did uh, as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye